welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 14th of June. The local media headlines today. It's nearly 20 years since the Perch Garage murders near Wadebridge shocked the country. Graham and Carol Fisher, a well-known and well-respected local couple, were brutally killed. Two years later, the men who did it were jailed for life. But did the police get the right men? Robert and Lee Firkins have always protested their innocence and eight years ago their lawyers thought they'd found new evidence. The appeal court finally takes another look tomorrow. Cornwall Council's been told it'll struggle to make the housing crisis its number one priority unless it actually gets a housing department. A solar farm company owned by the Norwegian government has its eye on 195 acres of West Cornwall. We're only three days out from saying goodbye to the A30's Chiverton Cross roundabout. And get the popcorn ready for today's County Hall Cabinet meeting, where the only thing the public wants to talk about is the spaceport. The BBC was among those to report this year's attendance figures for the Royal Cornwall Show. At 118,000 it was slightly down on last year, but still more than enough to bring traffic around Wadebridge to a standstill. Pirate FM noted concern in Lou over plans to redevelop a hotel site. The Falmouth Packet covered the latest case of a local police officer in trouble with the law. The Cornish Times covered a local dog show. And finally Cornwall Live has more helpful hints for tourists. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.